Yeah, I want to talk about uh, viewfind and uh, laminas in viewfind. Um, this talk is aimed at developers mainly. Um, I mean, that's the only slide maybe. Uh, viewfind is a laminas web application. Uh, a reminder, this means that we not just use laminas um, framework classes, but the viewfind application uses the web application um, structure of laminas. Uh, and this means that sometimes you can do things uh, just with laminas without uh, changing anything in viewfind. And I selected two or three things that uh, we found uh, helpful. Um, a, a starter, maybe you had this use case once. Uh, you can manipulate the template stack. So say you have a, a composer package um, that implements some shared functionality and it uses just one, one simple partial view. And you don't want to define uh, and integrate a corresponding viewfind team for just this partial. Um, easy thing, uh, you can uh, configure what's called the uh, template path stack of laminas and point it to the path of the partial directory. Um, that's how it looked like uh, in the module config. Um, yeah, that's how it looked like. Um, there's one pattern that we observed we are doing very often is that we use a resource locator class with a static method uh, that returns the uh, path uh, to a resource file, such as a partial or a schema file. Um, so we don't have to hard code uh, any parts in this configuration. This was uh, not easy to find out, but it's easy to use. Um, the second part is about something that I really like, uh, and this is events. Um, Laminas uses an event bus to manage the life cycle of an application. And you can hook into this event system and do things. Uh, the code uh, shows how you will do it most likely. Um, in this case, you have a function that attaches uh, a class uh, to the error events of the Laminas framework. And why would you want to do this? Um, for example, you want, um, you're not satisfied with the default uh, error page of viewfind uh, that always is the same page and it's always a HTTP error 500. Maybe you want um, a send a 502 error code when the index is down and a different page for the end user that says uh, there are currently maintenance problems and not just saying, hey, there's an error. Um, using the event system, it's easy to do. You hook into the error events as shown uh, before. You check the error condition. Is it an exception? Which one is it? And then you change the response object, um, set the status code um, and if you want, you could change the view model and change the template that's used um, by viewfind or laminas uh, to be more exact uh, to render the page. Use case two. Um, footnote, uh, it's not just laminas that uses the event system, but viewfinds use it too. Uh, the viewfind search uh, system um, makes use of events and one use case we have is that um, we have a facet over a field with location codes. And due to some reorganization work, uh, the location codes change in such that two codes uh, stand for the same location. Don't ask, this happens. Um, and you just want one value in the facet, of course. Um, in this case, we use the um, search, viewfind search events, uh, post and pre. And uh, in the post event, we merged um, the codes or we unified the coded values. And in the pre event that's triggered before the search is executed, um, we modify the facet query parameter used by uh, viewfind. Uh, it works like a charm. 
Last use case, uh, really quick. Uh, I talked about this two years ago. Uh, no, last year. Oh God, time flies. Um, we wanted to collect performance information uh, about our search index usage. Uh, how long does it take? How often does it respond with an error? Um, other stuff. And uh, you can use the view find uh, or the Laminas event subsystem uh, to do this. Uh, and it's quite easy. You just hook into the events before a search and after a search. And then you track each search command that passes through and you collect the statistics and you write them out in a file. And then you can analyze the file later. Of course, you could feed this information also into um, a live database, whatever you want to do. Um, if you're interested in this last part, uh, there I linked my talk. Um, yeah, that's when I rediscovered the beauty of the event system. Uh, that's it. Um, have fun and uh, yeah, happy coding.